excited about this trip. My little nephew Chance, he pulled a deer tag up here in northern Nevada and I couldn't be more excited. We were here about a month ago um, scouting around trying to find some deer and it didn't work out at all for us. We barely saw any deer, a couple small bucks, uh, none of the big bucks had worked into this area which is typical um, but I tell you the truth I'm a little jealous. I haven't pulled a tag up here in a couple years um, but I could probably pull a deer tag for the rest of my life and it would not compare to the excitement I'm gonna feel if Chance is lucky enough to harvest a deer up here and extra special to do it around family with Uncle Lavor, Aunt Cleo, Connie and Ginger. And I know, harvest or not, to get back up here in God's country and to spend it with some family, I'm gonna take advantage of that every chance I get. Thick one? Four by. It's not four point. No, he's a three point. The big, the one in the back is a three point? Yeah. No way he's chasing that thick four point. He didn't chase him, he just followed him down. No, he put, they were fighting right here before you got on him. I saw him fighting. And then he chased that thick one out of there. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What? He broke. I thought it was broken. I was going to say it, but I didn't want to say he it. Broke his right side. He broke his horn off fighting. Broke, yeah, huh. broke his horn off. Yeah, I, th I thought I saw. That's why. That's one. why he's limping. He's limping. Wow. He that thick one broke his horn. What about the other one that's behind him? Just the three Four point. Three point. Three point. Why don't we still just kill him? We could, if you wanted to, but. I don't care. Huh? I don't care. Well, if you don't care, I don't care, bud, but he, what if we can't find his other horn? Cool story? Yeah. <laughs> we saw him fight and break it. Although it would be a pretty cool story if Chance were to go after that big four-pointer and get him, but I just, I just didn't feel right about it. You know, I talked to Clay a little bit later, and we decided to go ahead and head out to a little bit different area a little later in the day do a little rim rock hunting in an area where we've seen some pretty good bucks before. Um, unfortunately, we got up on top of this rim and the wind, wind was howling. Uh, it was not conducive to, to mule deer hunting and we saw zip. Uh, saw a big bunch of antelope, but not one deer, not even a doe. So it was lunchtime, put together a strategy over lunch, uh, decided to head back to the area where we were at before. We wanted to look at that footage of that three point and as we looked at him a little bit more, he wasn't a bad buck. I think the thickness of that four point overshadowed that he was a pretty decent buck. And we decided, you know what? It's getting tight. We only have a few days left. Let's go after this three pointer and see if we can make something happen. Here we are back at the provider kitchen, Chad Belding coming at you. Venison, mule deer. We're doing something different today. We're gonna mix some venison steak, flattened out, and we're gonna roll up some Louisiana boudin in it. Pork stuffed boudin wrapped in mule deer flank steak, and we're gonna accompany it with some tortellini and pesto sauce. So right now we're gonna use our pot filler to get some water going for the pasta. 
We do not put olive oil into our water. When we start the process of boiling, we just add some salt, Mediterranean sea salt for a little flavor. So we'll put the lid on that, let that water get to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll put our tortellini in there for a couple minutes until it gets al dente. And then we'll mix that with some pesto sauce. But let's go check out this deer steak. So you can see some of the ingredients we're gonna to utilize today. Mule deer steak that we're getting ready to flatten out with the spatula and then our tenderizer. We're gonna have green onions, fresh jalapenos. We're gonna start with a little bit of a mixture of two of our provider rubs on the inside, the Brit and the crosshairs after we get some olive oil on that mule deer steak. And then we're gonna to top it with some Chad Ward Whiskey Bent Grind. This is a coffee-based red meat rub, absolutely delicious. And of course, a little bit of Tony's for a little bit of that salt appeal. Parmesan cheese, black pepper. This is gonna be awesome. You can see our smoked boudin right here. This is a first for us, so come along with us as we take you on the journey of Nevada mule deer wrapped boudin. Let's roll. So we're gonna take our spatula, get on top of that mule deer, pound it out a little bit. Then we're gonna take our tenderizer, do the same thing that you've seen us do many times. Letting that rub, that olive oil, the cheese, everything, get the flavor down into that meat. Flip her over. You can already see how that meat starts to get a little bit longer. We'll flatten this side out a little bit more too. Take your spatula one more time on this side. So there you have your mule deer steak all laid out, ready for the ingredients to be applied. So let's start with a little bit of our old trusty Napa Valley olive oil. Don't need a ton of this. It's gonna soak down into that meat, but just put a little bit on there and then use your fingers to rub it around. Oh, it smells so good. Then, like I said, we're gonna use our provider crosshairs, which is a great beef rub. We're gonna utilize it on venison today. Then we're gonna mix that with our Brit, which is our paleo rub. Awesome for venisons. I've, I just did a big old moose roast with it and the Brit was awesome on that. So you can tell we got that on the inside. Now we're gonna take our green onion. I'm gonna flip this one around just like this. Let's see, how do I wanna do that? That one right there. Gonna take our green onion, our fresh jalapeno, our boudin. Now it's time for the burrito. Bam! Now from there, we're gonna take that and rub that into all that excess olive oil that's left over on your cutting board. Parmesan cheese across the top of that. Smells so good already. Now we're gonna take our whiskey bent grind. With our Tony Chasseries. And then our black pepper. Gotta have black pepper every single time you grill out doesn't matter if it's poultry, fowl, sheep, lamb, pork, domestic beef, wild game. So you can see now we got our boudin stuffed, venison, Nevada mule deer steaks. And that's ready to go on the Traeger. We got our Traeger set right now at 250 degrees. We're gonna smoke this out just for probably about 12 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna finish it in the Lodge cast iron reverse sear method taught to us by my boy Chad Ward again from Whiskey Bent Barbecue. Let's go get this on the Traeger. 
Is that him laying down in the brush? Laying down in the brush? Yeah, he's laying down in the sage. So like that group of three trees. Yeah. And probably 50 yards to the right of it in that next big, biggest tree. There's a doe stand underneath. Oh, to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it. Holy, it's got to be him, huh? Good spot, dude. Might be your boy right here, huh? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. It's got to be him. He's. I mean, he's, we saw him this morning, right? He's got a bunch of does with well, him now. Here's the deal, Chance. Either buck broke his horn off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rain's coming tomorrow. 60, 70 percent chance. So. I think we should I go after him, go dude. Him. Yeah. He's look. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> he's he's quite dumb. I can tell you that. It's that time of year. His nose is straight up in the air, licking. Trying to find a doe to get. We'll be able to get on him easy, bud. So, 12 does in his. That's all part of the problem. Just been while you've been counting them, I've been thinking about our winds going like this. Yep. So we're gonna have to. Well, it's gonna be tough because that's some tall sagebrush. But we're gonna have to get down, almost kind of get below them and work work up towards them. Because if we come in from above, yeah, they'll the wind pick us apart. If we can get to that tree right there. 75 yards from where those two fences meet up right, right there right that's where the brush gets a little bit a little bit you know a little bit shorter a little bit thick but there's a little bit opening right there where where those all those fences come together right there yeah. hopefully they just kind of slowly start feeding that way yeah Song, don't you want to stay all night? Maybe sing along, little dancing in the dark to the rhythm of a heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. Right behind this bush. Oh, oh, I've got the time. Oh, oh, you've got to shine just enough of that. We're getting down in here. I mean, right on top of these deer. And the more I'm looking at this deer, the more I see that he is an awesome buck. He's tall, he's symmetrical, and I think he's going to be a pretty dang good first buck for chance. We start sneaking down through this brush, and once you get down in here, you realize just how thick it is. It's definitely working out to our advantage. It's helping us with our hide, but the problem is, is we can't ever really see the deer. All we see every once in a while is a flash of the tips of his horns. We're sneaking through this sagebrush and we come across this rim rock. It has an awesome clearing uh, that Chance is gonna be able to set up on this rim rock and get a shot at this three point. And all of a sudden, Clint spots something new. Clay. Second green tree, about 200 yards, right over the ridge. That's a new buck. Yeah, I see him. He's about a 22 inch. Four point. He's got a bunch of does in front of him. He's still working left, so we'll stay that way. Wait, Dad, you see a new four point? I can't believe how this day worked out. First, this big old thick four point comes through, and I was imagining shooting that deer. And then him and this three point got in a fight. So now I think I'm going after this three point. But then when we're stalking this deer, my dad spots in the sage bush a brand new four point, and now my nerves are running crazy. Hey, shoot him. Nice hit. All right, all right. 
That was an awesome shot, dude. Center punch. Look, center punch. Yeah. A little low. Little I back little, and roll. Little back. Dude, are great okay? shot. That's a great buck. Was that unbelievable? Uh-huh. <laughs> Stop shaking. <laughs> he was starting to rut. Yeah. You see those does? You see his nose yeah. and those does butts? Yeah. Dude, that was unbelievable. He came, we snuck in perfect. Did that not work? We spotted him from, yeah, we spotted we spotted him from way, way back there. over there. Yeah. And he we got to 50 yards. I felt nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you were worried about it? Were you worried? Huh? If, you well, said, I thought I missed him, but I guess not. Oh, you thought you missed him? him? Yeah, because I, I, I hit right. Oh, okay. yeah, I hit him a little back but, right here. We gotta give him that a whole a little back. We'll look at the footage. We'll look at the footage and see exactly where you hit, and then d- d- decide decide what we you know do. Yeah. If we go in after him right away, give him a little bit of time, we'll decide. But that was unbelievable. First deer, dude. Yeah. Well, oh. I knew Chance made a good shot. I knew it was a lethal shot, but it was back a little bit, uh, and we didn't get a chance to see this deer go down. We went up and we found a good blood trail Uh, because we had to know which direction this deer was going in because there was a storm coming in tonight. And the problem was is that we didn't see him go down in this thick brush. We knew which direction he headed. We gave him a little extra time, but we had to find him because we knew that this storm was coming in tonight. In the end, I knew that all my hard work was going to pay off with a good shot. And now that I finally get to punch my first mule deer tag and to share it with my dad and uncle and the rest of my family, it's pretty awesome. Our mule deer boudin loaf. Fingers crossed. That's what being a provider is all about. My buddy Lindley down in Louisiana always is sending me boudin. I absolutely love all different types, crab, crawfish, seafood, pork, sausage. There's so many different types of boudin. We're trying something new with these flank steaks out of my brother's Nevada mule deer. Just thinking outside the box, trying to uh, make everybody happy around camp. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna take our tortellini, get them in this boiling water. Let those get to al dente. Got our pesto sauce over here. See a little bit of our homemade pesto sauce rolling. Stir that around. Pesto's very strong. You don't need a ton of it to accompany your noodles or any of your pastas. That's just about done there. And then the last step before we go out and get it, we're gonna light up our lodge cast iron. We're gonna get that real hot for this reverse sear. Right before we put the deer steak in there, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and a tiny bit of butter. Let's go get the deer off the Traeger. Look at that. Boudin is at perfect temperature. Jalapenos. And our deer loaf. So beautiful. Let's go get that reverse sear going. All right, gonna take our Napa Valley, coat the bottom of our cast iron. This thing's hot, be careful. Here goes our butter. Always have your covering ready. Letting that butter heat up. I have a feeling this is gonna be good, y'all. All right, here we go. Deer loaf to the reverse sear. Just taking your time, letting that reverse sear on that side, getting all the way through to those green onions, those jalapenos, that boudin, that venison wrap, little flank steak. A lot of people say, hey, I'm just gonna make carne asada out of this flank steak, something like that for tacos, but Try it with this boudin and see what happens. Make sure he's dead. Uh, oh, he's gotta be done. Poke him in the eye. Focus eye. <laughs> blood trail. Oh my god. Focus eye. Focus eye. Oh, you he's good. There, if he blinks, you're on. Do you blink? Oh. No blink? No. Nope. Yeah, clear your gun, clear your gun. Give it to me. I get first hug, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what a stud butt. Oh, he's got a kicker. He's got a kicker. He broke it, but he's got a kicker. Well, that makes him a five-point, right? Pick him up. 
down oh, here or up here? It's wherever you want. Grab him, he's yours. Oh, lift him up. 20 inch, 21 inch maybe, outside. Point three. <coughs> yeah, he's probably he's a, 20 inches. He's a heck of a good 20. Player. I gotta get a picture. I gotta get a picture. four point with a kicker. I gotta get a picture, dude. Hold him up there, big. Oh, Hold him up there, muscles. First picture of Chance in his first beer. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what a stud, dude. Man, I'm so happy. What a stud. Calm before the storm. Gonna be raining tonight and tomorrow, Chance. Good thing yeah. you killed him today. That last row we cross, we can get him there and then I can hike back and get the, the, the Yamaha. Then we can pull in and get him. Here he comes. Here he comes, baby. Woo! Finally! Let's load him up, dude. Yeah. Give me five. Uh, Boy, I yeah, had that boy. Stall point right there, but my weight training days with Coach Cass told me <laughs> to drop my butt, and pull my core in, got him up. Hello. Hello. Hi, mommy. Good. Good. Um, yeah, we just so. <laughs> okay. So, so I, I killed the buck. Five forty-five, I think. Somewhere around there. Wow, just a few hours ago, nice job. Yeah, and we're, yeah. Uh, four by four with a kicker on it. So, yeah. How cool, but I'm so happy for you. I cannot wait to see it. I know. Good job. You guys are packing it out right now, or what? Yeah, we're, we're, we're gutting it right now. Cool, get your hands dirty, kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. I love you too. Get to cleaning. <laughs> yep. Get to cleaning. Bye bye. I'm excited as heck. Look at this. Nevada mule deer. My nephew Chance's buck. Wrapped around Louisiana. Pork infused boudin, green onion, fresh jalapeno, whiskey bent, the grind rub. We got the crosshairs provider rub. We got the Brit provider rub, Napa Valley olive oil, a little Parmesan cheese right across the top of that. Black pepper grinded up, of course. Let's see what we got. We got my brother Clay in here who was on this hunt. He is going to be our taster. Oh, a little pinwheel like a sushi roll. All right, remember, I was, I'm gonna say this real quick. When you're cooking, you lived and learned. You need to have some chef, what we call chef tie or chef rope or something to chef string that you can tie this together. Toothpicks or something would have made a life a lot easier. So keep that in mind when you're cooking, if you pick up on something that might make it better the next time, write that down in your recipe and your recipe notes and apply it the next time. I wish I would have done it, but sometimes at camp, you don't have time to do it. Keep that in mind, but watch this, what it looks like when I lay it down. Mule deer infused, boudin, jalapenos, green onion, Clay, go ahead, see what you think. Cause I'm thinking like it looks amazing. Let's just see. Little pesto sauce, olive oil on the pesto. Let's just. That's a good one, keep that. Is it good? Huh? Watch this. Tom's holding that camera again. Let's give him a bite. Tom, let me get you a bite. Yeah, there you go, Tom. Try one. Remember, do we get the nod or do we get the shake? Nod or shake? Two for two. 
That's the provider. That's the provider TV, Chance Belding, one of his first mule deer hunts, first of many that is. Great success in the mountains in Nevada. Mule deer is so good if you take care of it again from the field to the fork. The butchering, the processing, the shrink wrapping, everything that we work with with our partners at Made With Meat, we're truly honored to be able to hunt mule deer in the state of Nevada and be able to bring it back, wrap it around some fresh Louisiana boot in that my buddy Lindley sent out. We met Lindley in duck camp up in Alberta, Canada with Clay and Crystal Charlton at Take Him Outfitters. And here we are five years later eating boudin that he just overnighted to us. This life is unbelievable. I'm Chad Belding with The Provider TV for Chance Belding, Clint Belding, Clay Belding, Alex Crosby, everybody here at The Provider. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.